The beauty and peacefulness of a golf course makes it a sanctuary to many who enjoy the game. And like us, a wide variety of wildlife also flock to golf courses to enjoy the natural habitats they provide. Deer, foxes, birds, fish, turtles, alligators, and frogs are just some of the wildlife that long made golf courses their home. But many golf courses are undertaking new projects to create additional habitat and promote even more wildlife. Many golf courses have converted out of play rough into naturalized areas where little to no maintenance occurs and wildlife can live undisturbed. Some of these areas are even designated as environmentally protected areas, ensuring golfers do not disturb the area. So when we built the golf course, we needed and wanted to preserve as much native habitat as possible to keep the wildlife habitat, the endangered species that we have on the property, have plenty of space for them. It, it creates more habitat as we go through the years and manage the property. Building birdhouses is an inexpensive way to attract many different species to the course. Bluebirds, purple martins, and hawks are easy to spot, and in many areas of the country, it's common to see bald eagles soaring across the sky. Courses are also helping to fight the decline in pollinators by installing managed beehives and planting wildflowers as a nectar source for honeybees. The Monarchs in the Rough program is another initiative geared to increase biodiversity on golf courses. This program aims to fight declining monarch butterfly populations by planting milkweed on golf courses, which rely on the species for survival. Superintendents also work with the Audubon Cooperative Sanctuary Program to create and manage wildlife habitat on golf courses. Thanks to these new initiatives, golf courses are becoming an even more valuable part of our community by demonstrating their commitment to protecting wildlife habitat. And we get to enjoy more than just playing golf, but a chance to observe nature in action.